Hey, you like him? Oh, just want to say something, something I do quite regularly actually. Um, I'm looking for bolts and screws and things, they're quite often too long for what I need. I have to cut them off. And uh, yeah, I suppose most mechanics and backyard people know how to do this already, but yeah, I just want to show yeah, a couple of tips. First thing you do, you put a nut on first. This is a 6 mil bolt. Yeah. Put your nut on first, and the reason for that is because that when you wind it off, it'll clean the thread as you go. And that's sort of a whole lot easier than trying to start it. I'm trying to do this one handed here. Yeah. And you're going to see. Little focus. Okay, I'll just cut that off with an angle grinder. There's huge burrs, and you've got no starter bevel to start your thread with. So, yeah, you've got a foil at an angle. Surprising how hard this is to do one hand while you hold the camera. Usually, I've got two hands on the foil. But yeah, what you got to do? Is put a bit of a bevel on it. Well, all over the place with this camera. And still. Trying to practice watching what I'm doing through the camera so that you guys can see it because I have a tendency to look at what I'm doing and forget to uh, focus the camera on what I'm doing. So, pretty slow doing this one end and we'll hold the camera. Well, normally when we're totally done right now. But yeah. So you got to do it. Put a bevel on it. And take all the burrs off. Now when you get to here, it will still be tight. So you go back and forwards, back and forwards. Probably help if I put a bit of WD on there or something as well. Yeah, because that's already on the thread, it'll clean the thread properly. If you try and put the nut on after you've cleaned it, even after you filed it, it's going to catch the burrs and it's very likely to cross thread. There's still a burr on that, I can feel it. The burr was probably pulled up from that. It's probably bent over the thread part, so we'll just take that off. Yeah. And you also, well, firstly, you try and cut it level or well, squarely. Because if there's any sort of an angle on there, yeah, when you go to press a nut on, it's going to go crooked. So, yeah, it's a good reason to try and keep it square. There we go. You can run your finger around it. doesn't catch your finger, cut your finger. Yeah. Nut turns freely by hand, and you're good. All right, hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.